Welcome to Lexia English, our bite-sized PD that's just going to give you a quick look into some of the usage reports and the resources available to help you as your students are on Lexia English. In our original bite-sized PD that we had live, we had our consultant from Lexia, and due to copyright, we're not able to record that. So I am recording this after our live one, so you won't see any actual participants here with us in our Zoom. So first we're talking about Lexia English and everything we, always, we talk about ties back to our MTSS. And today I'm mostly focusing in, how are we using this data? How are we using this to help drive our instruction? So our learning intentions today are learning how to access and utilize student usage data in Lexi English and how to print certificates of achievement so you can support students and use the data to inform your instructional decisions. And you'll know you're successful when you have a plan of how often you're gonna view their data and how you're gonna support them with their progress. First thing I wanted to remind you of is that I did create a one pager and it is linked in the slideshow. So that tells you all of the ins and outs of Lexi English. Lexi English is a program provided that we are recommending for WIDA students, students on WIDA level one and two. There is currently no um, requirement, only recommendations right now from the state and also from our district um, in regards to this program. So when you click on this, it will open up in PDF form. And down at the bottom, there's actually links to additional resources that I'm going to show you as well. But this is just a quick one pager to remind you what it looks like and how to support your students. So I'm going to be toggling back and forth between my slideshow and then actually going into my Lexia. You access my Lexia through mylexia.com. Sometimes you can see it on Clever, but we've had a little issue on that. So the best way to always be able to go is mylexia.com. You log in with your CSD docs email address. Again, if for some reason you have been signed up through your Canyons district email. So if your CSD docs doesn't work, try that. And then you go in and there are tabs at the top right here. A lot of you who have been using Lexia Core 5 are used to the reading tab. There's the Lexia English tab that I'm gonna show you in just a minute but I wanted to show you the resources tab first. So I'm gonna come over here to Lexia English Resource Hub. And here gives me a lot of resources for myself and to know about the program. So when I first come in here, I see that there's character reward stickers, goal settings. So things down here on the side toggle in what you're in. So I'm gonna come over here to guides and manuals, which there's a professional learning guide so that I can learn more about the program. There's placement guidance, there's um, usage and progress guidelines, and some five-minute check-in. What I like was down here, there's also your Lexia report guides. So if I go too fast or you want to refer to it or you prefer written directions, all of them are right here as far as how to read your reports. Then I also have down here Lexia English lessons that are um, that that come and and go through things for me. Then I have my classroom animations. I like this one because if I'm having my students on Lexia English and they've never been on before, it's really good for them to know what is being asked of them and how to kind of navigate the program. So you can actually play this for them and and it will show them what to look for for their microphone, how to record, um, some tips and tricks. So those are really nice too. And then some planning tools for you as you go in deeper. Also some classroom posters and how to use it on a tablet. So this is my go-to place of, oh, I've forgotten what to do for that. Here's where I go. So just like if you've used Core 5, you're used to the student achievement certificates. There's a couple of differences in Lexi English. They will not automatically print out and they will you will not be given an email notification. So you will just have to pay attention and go in to their certificates. And they do print in these five languages. I will say 
the certificates are by level. And so far, I have not seen many um, students go up an entire level. We're used to seeing quite a bit of level gain in um, Luxia Core 5. So if you're familiar with that, it's going to feel like they should be going faster. Lexi English more does things in units. And I'm going to show you that and then kind of how their usage works in that. So I just wanted to give you um, a place where you could come and get the, all the resources too. So I'm going to come back into my My Lexia. I'm going to go into Lexia English. And it's going to pull you up a report that shows I'm on last four weeks. You can also do this year or you can do custom that shows you an overview of what's, how many students were using it in what week. I like to look at a year at a glance and then kind of go down from there. So when I look in here, I can see this is a district overview. So this is our entire district. We had 459 students using it in December 11th. And then how many minutes are using it? Our recommended for K2 is 30 to 45 minutes per week in four through five, four, I'm sorry, K2 and then three through five are recommended 45 to 60 minutes. So it doesn't quite match. You're looking at in this, the timeframes here are a little bit different than what the recommended is. So we're looking for this green, this dark green to me is indicating a couple of things. They're on it way too much. So I'm I'm using far too much class time for them to be on it, or they're using it at home, which can be its own benefit too. So I just want to pay attention to that just for that reason. So I look over here at the upper view and then down here are going to be your students. And I'm going to flip back to my slideshow so that I'm not showing student names. So when I click on my student names, over here, I'd have my student names, right? So it shows what level they're at. I have, these are all first graders. So these are at level three, level one, and so on. Here's their total minutes they've used it. They've used the program. Here's how many weeks they've used the program and their average minutes per week. Remember that light green is below 29. That middle green is 30 to 60, which is kind of our sweet spot where we want to see them. And then our dark green is that um, higher than that. So when I look here, just looking at minutes per week, I notice that this student has a lot of minutes. And my first question would be, are they using this program at home? And is it being effective? So that's the next thing I'm going to look at. So I can see my average minutes per week and then my units gained. Because Lexi English is so new, there are not exact recommendations for how long it's going to take students in that unit to complete, but they're thinking about three to 10 minutes. And, and when I'm looking at students, that's about what I'm seeing too. So just as a broad, really broad, are they even anywhere near on track? And because dividing by 10 is really easy for me, I'm gonna count 10 minutes as good for a unit. So if a student is on for 10 minutes, they should be getting one unit. So I'm gonna look up here and I'm gonna see that this student is averaging 31 minutes a week and they've been on for 14 weeks, right? So if I divide that by 10, that's three, they should be gaining about three units a week times by that 14, which would give me 42 minutes, 42 units. So this person's pretty close. Maybe I'd want to look, were they really on one of those weeks and kind of look at that. But when I look at, sorry, that likes to advance. And I look at this student who's been on 308 minutes average per week, which would mean 30 units times the 16, I'm sorry, yes, 30 units times the 16, 160 units. Even if it went down from that 80 units, right? But this student is only gaining 30 units, especially comparing it to this student who has been using it less time and less weeks and has more units gained. 
So this is a student that I would want to dig into their data more and see why that's happening. Um, I'm not going to dig into that student's data because I wanted to show you one that is making those gains, kind of what it looks like. So when you go and you click on that person's name, you will be taken into another screen that looks like this, that gives you their progress. So they are working on level six. They've completed 53 units this year. And then if we were in a second year, it would tell you how many total completed. From, because it is ongoing, it will keep their data. So they're on level six, they're 78% done with level six. If I come and look over here, at the end of each unit, there's a presentation. This tells you how they did on those presentation scores. So I know that in informing using adverbs, they did pretty good. This is their lowest score at 66% using sometimes and always. In December, they did informing using verbs, and they did pretty good on that. They have a little low score here, so I might want to look into that. But in informing here using nouns, low score. If I do have time or resources and I want to print out resources for a teacher or an aide to use one-on-one -on -one or in small group, those are right here, and I can print those out from here as well. I should be coming on every week to see the progress of my students, to be looking for those red flags. Is there a student who's on a lot but not gaining any units or who is, um, and, and the, it is different than Lexia 4 5 because it will push them on. We don't wanna reset them or, or change their level. What we wanna do is support them. So if I had a student where they had a lot of minutes they weren't making unit gains. The next time I had that student get on Lexia English, I would maybe sit side by side so I could see what they're doing and see if it's a user error, see if they're not understanding, look for those, those red flags. So that's why I would be progress monitoring, I'm sorry, checking that progress monitoring every week. So again, you have your resource hubs, you have the one pager that gives you some information, and then you can print your certificates as well. So just revisiting that we wanted to um, learn how to access and utilize student usage data and how to print certificates. Hopefully you've learned that. And if not, you have the printed resources to go back and continue that as well. So thank you for coming. And remember that all of these are linked in Canyon's U in the Bite Size PD page, which is probably how you accessed it. Thank you.